Is this numb? Yes. So this area is numb. This is a venous stasis ulcer. Uh, there's a lot of fibrotic tissue all around here, as you can see, I'm not allowing this uh, wound to close. What I'm doing now is to clean this whole thing out down in the good bleeding tissue. So we call them granulous tissue, which is a new cell that comes when we clean out all the bad cells. So we go to these edges here. This is where the wound has to close, but I feel a lot of very hard tissue. When you have a lot of this hard tissue, we want to uh, close these area. As you can see, there's a good bleeding going on, which is a good sign, because we want more blood to come down, which carries oxygen and gives life and bring new cells into this area. But you can see this really hard tissue here. These are all kind of what we call the fibrotic tissue. These are like scar tissue around it. And when you have it on these edges, these edges won't close. So our idea is when we clean this area out, this new cell is going to grow and then this entire hole will be smaller and smaller and be able to completely close. The scab with a lot of scar tissue underneath is from the um, chronic inflammation uh, and retaining of water on your legs. And then when you retain water on the legs, it becomes darker and it becomes weaker, like paper thin, and any kind of pressure, it opens up. So you have the um, antibiotic cream that I gave you, right? Silvodine? Yes. Yeah. So you're going to apply that. And you're going to put, and then you have to put ace bandage to keep the pressure on. We want to keep the swelling down, which is uh, another very important thing. I'm going to try to get uh, more of these uh, other scab off, but we don't want to do too much at once. We want to just get this closed get smaller and then we do more as I do it because I don't want to damage it too much either because when we do this we do some damaging to the cells as well and I have a balanced approach. We do some but we don't want to overdo it. If it gets infected then it can go deeper and then that becomes a big problem. Well it can go into your bone, you can lose your leg, I mean there's a lot of things can happen when it's not taken care of. So it's, it's small enough right now I mean where and then the good thing is he's got good circulation a lot of ulcers like this uh, doesn't have good circulation and then when i do this it doesn't bleed very well so then that's a big problem i would just cover it up when you take a shower and after you take a shower the peroxide to clean the area put silvadine and then like a telfa pad over it and then you compress it but it looks really good really clean now so now i put a little silvadine dressing the silver then it has a silver in it. Silver is excellent for skin. Gold is good for joints. Silver is really good for skin. So that's why it's called silverdine. And then I put a little bandage on it. And then I put an ace bandage to keep the area. And then you compress a little bit with this and that helps too. Okay. You see how this one gonna okay. goes up a little bit more. Okay, it looks good. Oh, 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 oh,